That was quick. I'm to take a picture, because what it does is it makes you take a snapshot of us to put, you know, to start off the, um, like the video. Yeah. You know, like so when you're scrolling and you say, oh, there's do you knit, yeah. like a still picture of us. So something's wrong with the app. Or it's something. buggy. It's buggy. The app. The um. The YouTube app, we've had that, and you have to upload a photo, and yeah. it's like, but we're live. We're live. We're we live. did it. We're live. We're here. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about, did we have that much to talk about? Um, oh, by the Sorry. way, I'm Do You Knit. I'm Karen, and this is Alana. I'm Alana. Ooh. At Ilana on at Instagram. At Alana. Everybody says, do you In case you feel like She's following like me. <laughs> Like Madonna, she's at, got one name. No, I'm not at Madonna. I'm at She's Alana. at Alana. In case you want to follow me. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's got one name there. And um, anyway, so we were saying, do we have a lot to show? We don't have that much because we have a lot coming in. Yeah. We did get a shipment yesterday. Yeah. And um, a good see, one. A good one, what I'm wearing. See, I did still Carolyn's sweater. I'm getting hot, so getting I'm going to show this You're first. You're going to show. All right, show we want Alana to show this, because she's been working on it on and off since April, maybe? I guess, yeah. I think, because I started it, and I here. never finished. So we're just going to let Alana go for it. Look at this coat. It's a coat. It's a coat. You don't, You can wear it now, today. It's like 45 degrees out. It's outerwear, for outerwear. sure. Outerwear. And mm -hmm. so this is made, um, Amanda Solomon is an amazing fiber artist. Mm -hmm. She spins, she makes bats, and she knits. Mm -hmm. um, she loves Disney World. She loves, she loves Disney, Disney World. World. Yeah. She's always in and Disney. And Beyonce. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> She's adorable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like you really know what she likes based on what Her she Instagram, does. Her Instagram, right? Yes. And so she created a beautiful coat mm -hmm. made out of her hand spun and a little bit of commercial yarn mixed right. in there too. And she used the Nicola. pattern Roy G. Biv mm -hmm. by Park and Knit. Mm -hmm. And um, so I uh, was well, inspired. She Remember she came here in April. Yes, she came here and she was wearing it and she was like, selling her hand spun. I can make it. Yeah, so we all went crazy for hand spun for a while there. I started it, I don't know where I put it. And so I used three skeins of her hand spun in there. And then I have, is um, this is my hand spun, but it's made out of her bats. Mm -hmm. um, so the cool, like funky textured ones, like this in here, or like these fun Coming little out. things, right. that's all Amanda's hand spun. Uh, the ones that I make are like more like this yellow Subtle. here. Mm -hmm. And then this is yarn pimp yarn, this one here. And this is, um, there's spin cycle and hedgehog in here. It's everything. This blue is knit It's a collage. kitchen sink. It is, it's and I love it. It's, it's like it's you like, finished it. Good for, you were finishing a lot of whips. I've been trying to. Is that your, that, is that your resolution for 2020? Kind of. Well. It's good. It's, it's not like a resolution because it's something I really want to do. Right. It's not and like I'm beautiful. forcing myself. And they're beautiful. Look what myself. you just finished. Yeah, so I finished this. Mm -hmm. I finished that purple gradient sweater, which mm -hmm. I'm going to put on now instead right. of this because it's, it's a little hot to wear in Doors. Gorgeous. And um, yeah, now I'm working on finishing my angle sweater. I could oh, show that yeah. too, I guess. Let, let Alana just do it because she's got such beautiful whips here. <laughs> I'll get it all out of the way and then uh -huh. we could just. Uh, then we could just talk. Talk. We talk. Girl talk. Coffee so then here's talk. my angle sweater that I'm trying that? to finish. No. Kind of. I found keep it short, right? The body. Oh, yeah. That's because cute. Because you put a little shirt underneath. The Surrey Alpaca grows. Oh. So I feel like I don't want it. That's what Betsy was saying at Vogue, okay. that it kind of, like Rose, her sleeve was growing. It. Yeah, and she mm -hmm. used the thinner Surrey. This is the Chang Surrey, which, which is, is thicker, thicker than what's used in the pattern. But like if I'm wearing it over this dress, which is how I usually wear my hand so knits, cute, right. it's not like anything's going to show. No. And then even if it grows, it'll just be it's cute. like it's, that. Yeah, so, very cute. That's it. Mm -hmm. my, my Surrey sweater. And then up sweater. here, this is mohair. There's some... Um, uh, hedgehog. hedgehog fool's gold mohair mm -hmm. and um, Critter who works here just stashed a bunch of mohair to me so I have Critter like a whole like. giant bag of mohair to play right. with uh -huh. all the time and and some Surrey alpaca as well so oh. cute. that's my whip that's her whip I'm gonna have another whip that's a test knit but it doesn't look like much yet because okay. it's only She's this testing. thick mm -hmm. yes so that's and then that. you just finished your little purple sweater I have yep. a whip we can go into my whip yeah let's see your whip okay so I love, oh. I just have all these needles because I'm going to a 40 inch needle. But um, I love the ghost horse sweater. You ready? Here's oh, mine. Your color So is I'm on a 40 inch. I just have a little bit left of my signature, like eight stitches. And yesterday I went to a 40 inch needle. So here's my ghost horse. It's um, done in magpie, magpie fibers, right? Stag bunny, the background. Yeah. And then domestic fingering. Yes, domestic fingering and ghost ranch. 
spin cycle dyed in the wool. So I love that it changes colors, right? So good. I love it. And I'm on a 40 inch needle because I'm, on, I'm only on row 29. It's so slow. Yeah. Did you go slow when you did it? Like, cause the rows are long. You end up with a lot of stitches on there, but mm -hmm. then it starts flying. I feel when? like once you finish the horses. Okay, I'm not there yet. Cause then you don't really have to look at the pattern that much. I'm gonna much. go down like this, right? Once you divide the sleeves, it's gonna fly. Look. That could be like even two weeks. It's good left. though, right, guys? You like it? I like it. The I color's love changing. it. Wait, so that's the ghost ranch. Ghost color ranch way. color. Gorgeous. I have a lot of that. Look how you it's do. going into pink there. I love it's that. Like a little pink. bit of pink. Um, Beautiful. But we love spin cycle. We do have a lot of spin cycle. We have a lot of customers come in this weekend buy spin cycle. Yeah. Dyed in the wool. I don't have that much of. Um, this one, which is the uh, the DK one, the DK version, Dream State. I don't know. Devilish grin. But is somebody this one, came Dream yesterday State. and bought to just do um, Andrea's shawl, the shifty shawl. Oh really? Did we yeah, have she, enough different yeah, colors? Yeah, she picked out six different, and yeah. she said um, she just wanted to make it. But what we really have now is like kind of like sweater quantities. Like we have yes. five of each color. Right. So you could do the Sandoval sweater. But we how many do you need about. for the Sandoval? We we'll have to look that up, but we right. definitely have five of each. I mean, it's a contrast color. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine you need more than Maybe five two. for any of the seats. Yeah, and then sizes. we don't have that much DK, but we have DK coming. Yep, um, Uncommon Thread DK is Uncommon coming. Thread, and we should talk about what I'm wearing. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Neve Fade. But this is Carolyn. She was a test knitter for Andrea. I'm just going to, okay. So this was Uncommon Thread, and she, which we carry, and we have more coming tomorrow from the UK. Her Merino DK is beautiful. Oh. So the fade just went all the way down. And Carolyn was on vacation. It was November. She called the store because she got to test knit and had Kimberly put together colors for her. Right. And she did the gray fade. Because when you test Look. knit for Andrea, the way it works, you have to show, show what, yarn what you're, you're going to use. use. Yeah, like so you have look. to send a picture of exactly what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. I'll show the back, right? Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. Wait, back up so that it is. could get like a close-up. Okay, I don't know yeah. what size this is. I think it could be the fifth size or something. I mean, this is big on me. Big on you. So I think I would do the 42 because I was just looking at the pattern here. I would do the 42. And um, look, this Merino Look at us DK, together. We both have a fade yeah, on. Yeah, wait. This Merino <laughs> DK, look, it has like a sheen to it. It's beautiful. I and thought it had just, cashmere in it wait, at first. Wait, do we have a skein on the table? I'm just going to grab one because we only have a little bit left. But it has like her dyeing is beautiful, right? It's just 100% um, superwash, 230 meters, which is 246 yards. I'm just reading. I'm doing this Sorel sweater. Unspun oh, Icelandic doing the Sorel wool. sweater. Yeah. So Anne said, beautiful, post kits. I'm so mm. glad you said, said post that? kits because we have some kits, kits. right here. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Oh you my want God. kits? Guess you what? Want we kits? have kits. We got it. There's one of this left. So this is Friggs and Stone. Did this gorgeous fade. If you see my live on Instagram, it's on my Instagram TV. You could watch the whole video from yesterday. It's five minutes. The unboxing. The unboxing. And you'll see all the colors of the kits. Yes. We had 12. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have six left. Okay. The orchid color is completely gone. Yeah, the orchid was kind of along the lines of this the kind purple, of purple, just like that. Yeah, Those are but gone. this is a lighter version. That's a mauve color, which is gorgeous. I don't know if the fade is showing up on the screen, like I don't the know. color difference. It's but a if you look at the live, difference. you can almost see it. And yeah. then what color would you say that is like? Because it's like a brownie gray. What's she calling She said it? she called it on one of them. She gave us a color. But I can't, she said to me last night, and I said to her, no, you didn't, because we were looking for the color names. Glacial. Glacial. <laughs> I don't, well, I put that one in there, because oh, we were looking. But she said she put it somewhere on each skein. And this one's Moonlight. That's the only one left, the blue-gray one. That's the only Moonlight left? Yep, okay. of the blue-gray one. And um, I think this is called Wilting. Wilting? I think. We were Wilting. just taking a guess. We weren't really sure. But it's like a mauve. So if you call the store and say blue, gray, gray, or mauve, you'll be good. No more orchid, they're all gone. Yeah. We only have six kits left. And so it's 60% superwash merino wool, 20% mm -hmm. yak, yak, and 20% silk. Mm -hmm. 
and it goes up to a size five, the whole kit. So there's eight skeins plus a mini that you're gonna need of, I think, this color. Everything's numbered. She starts with the lightest color and says she color one, you. color two. Oh so, yeah, she did look, say Wilting look. Fade Set. She mm -hmm. did write the name on it. So I guess I was good. Now right? I see it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. these are beautiful. Mm -hmm. So if you want a kit to make Karen's sweater, right. uh, here it is. Here There's it also is. gonna be the Uncommon Thread, thread yarn tomorrow, coming but in the tomorrow. Uncommon Thread are gonna be single skeins. Yeah, so then we'll put together kits together. Right, we'll put together tomorrow Samantha, are you friends with Alicia? She said, Alicia is my girl. Yeah. So somebody, somebody commented before, she said, you guys must be speed knitters. Well, Carolyn is. Carolyn is the speed knitter. Kimberly's not too shabby over there Kimberly's either. very fast too. She's fast. These test knitters. <laughs> These test knitters, they're like, boom. And I'm like, because they only knit one thing. But not Carolyn. Car we realize, what does Carolyn do? She does a few different, like, I know you do part of your yoke, and then you go to your sleeves. Yes. Because sleeve island is trick. the worst, yes. right? And then you go to the body. <laughs> yes. I have to do the whole body before I do the sleeves. I just can't. Really? I don't know. I don't know why. I'm slow. I can't knit fast. I'm doing 500 things here. Yeah. I can't just sit in my house and just knit. I just can't. Carolyn has at least two to three going. She's also test knitting another one of Andrea's, which comes out in February. And that's done in Ching. That's all I'm just telling oh, you. Oh, yeah, I saw that. We're just leaving that. And it is color work. Yes, I saw you. that one. And we will have the exact yarn for it here, too. Because we do carry Ching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and uh, so. Speaking of Ching, did you see there's going to be a Ching cashmere brushed? You getting it, you think? I don't know. She just, she didn't really say anything. She didn't put it in a newsletter. I want to feel what But I'm getting, like. um, a ch the Ching order should be in a week or two. Not that. I don't think it's right. You know, I didn't ask her. But um, for that new yarn, she has a yak out. Yeah, Yak singles, right? Yak singles. We'll be getting that. And um, the pattern's also done in that. And um, I love yak. Surrey, I think. I think there's Surrey in it. Oh, really? More Surrey? <laughs> We have Surrey here. I'm not getting more. We have a lot. Oh, okay. You're not getting more. No, we have yeah. a lot in the store. Where'd they put it? They moved it. It's over here. But, um, yeah, the Surrey. We do have a lot of Surrey for you to use. And if you want, people could use mohair for their color work. Totally. Totally. That's what I'm doing is mm -hmm. I'm using doubled strand of the lace weight mohair to equal one strand mm -hmm. of the sport weight right. Ching Surrey. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing in the yoke of my sweater. It's mm -hmm. mohair. It's not And surrey. you're doing a test knit. You're doing, she's I'm doing, doing a, a test knit. knit. It's really small, but I could show it. I'm test knitting for Tiff Nealon. Mm -hmm. She's adorable. Met her I love Vogue. her. She's yeah. going to do something for us in the summer, fall. Would you please... Which, me? Probably you. Probably me. We, we could both do it. Okay, we can both do it. Here. <laughs> but remember, guys, this is a big version. We can look up on Ravelry. If you go to Callie Claire on Ravelry, I don't know what size she knit. Okay? But, um, I don't know, like that? Um, here's my sleeve. Sleeve. <laughs> In case you meant me. Sleeve. We don't know <laughs> if you meant me. Uh-huh. Like this. <sighs> so, I don't know, like that, right? It's not that, but it's supposed to be... I, if I could, like, move back. What? I'm moving the mannequins a little, right? To give you, like, the full version of it. <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Yeah. So you could just see, like, I'm wearing black, so this color is awesome. And it's like a sweatshirt. That's but On awesome. me, because Carolyn's size was knitted bigger. So you can just see. And here's the back, right? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Woo, I love it. Beautiful. I love the bobbles. But she know she'll she's in Disney for a few days. She doesn't know what I'm wearing. Well, she will if she watches this. I'm tonight. surprised she's not watching right now. I don't know. She's probably on <laughs> from the, the roller coaster. Or wait, or she's on the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> the water park. The noble sweater. Where did your yoke stop? I love the bobbles. Where did your yoke stop? This isn't my sweater. How was doing the nubs? It wasn't my sweater. We said this was Carolyn's sweater. She tested it. We haven't knit it yet. I think she means like, is it sort of like a swan show where the it's like dropped yoke, you know? I don't it's know. It's not really. I don't know. The pattern's up on Ravelry, or you could go look on Ravelry. It's more know? like a traditional sweater. Traditional it's not sweater. like the. Remember, very guys, deep. it's bigger on me because it's a bigger yeah. size. Yeah. So it may not fit everybody like that. You would that. normally make a size three, so that's yeah. a five. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 and this if is a five. a five. So Andrea's, you know, if you look at Andrea's pictures on Ravelry, you know, or here. Here's Andrea's, because Andrea probably did the smallest one. Look, I'm just going to, right? It's a little more fitted, 
Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. It's still loose. But it's not like one of those swan shows where right. the no, yoke not goes like way show. down to your no, waist. No, no, no. But then remember, it, guys, I'm wearing like, two sizes bigger than yeah. what I would. So that's why. But we just wanted to show you. And I really like it. I like it big <laughs> like this. <laughs> it's more cozy. Yeah, but if yeah. you look on Ravelry, she had a bunch of test knitters, and you could see their versions. Mm -hmm. You know, And some people did it in one color. With speckles. Oh, yeah. Ja Jara? Gara? 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 She did hers. But then in, like, I saw some solid. girl in Connecticut that came to see Stephen West here. She did hers oh. in one color. Oh, okay. In like a pink, like, po I don't know, look like a hedgehog similar. You know, a cool. little pink background really? with the sprinkles. With speckles? With speckles. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see, but there's all speckles in right, the yellow. Right, in this here. one. See, I'm just going to go up for it. I don't know if it's showing up, but it's you like can just see little pops. The color. I forgot what the color's called. I think. Um, confetti? Confetti. That colors. We might have it in the, uh, we have the fingering version yeah. of it. We might have confetti there. and has a little bit of speckles in it. But the dyes are beautiful, uncommon thread, and we love to be a stockist. We are a stockist. And after this order comes in, I think next week, we're getting her skinny single base. Oh. Her colors are saturated. Yeah. Her semi-solids, they're gorgeous. And I think they're 400 meters or something. Or 386 meters. They're like multifaceted. Like she dyes it, and I think she do goes over it again so that mm -hmm. it makes it extra and they're vibrant shiny. and fun. They're vibrant, like mm -hmm. her dyeing. The orange. I'm that like orange. obsessed I with the orange. I think we have one of the oranges over there. Every I time, I'm like, I need that orange, need and orange. I talk myself is that out lipstick? of it. Lipstick? Is it? That's what it's called. I don't know. There's one called lipstick, and I don't know if it was that one. Uh, should I check? I don't know. Lana's <laughs> gonna go check. I'm gonna go gonna... grab some. But we have the Lush Twist sock here, which has cashmere in it. Oh, somebody bought it? Wait. I don't know. She's going to put her hand in. I think it was purchased. I don't know, but you can pull out a few and just show. Yeah, this has cashmere it. in it. Yeah. But you can do a gorgeous sweater in this. Look at the colors. You're picking out great colors. Oh, here's the one. Yep, that's okay. the confetti. So look at this. We are getting the confetti in. And this is it in the... See the little bit of speckles? It has yellow in it. It has turquoise. It has all different colors in it. Mm-hmm. And that's what Carolyn used to the very, very top of her sweater. And we're getting 160 skeins, 16 colors tomorrow. So you can fade. Look how vibrant her colors are. Yeah, I'm going to show. So somebody was just asking. She says she wants like a blue. I think she said a blue, blue? fade. Uh -huh. Karen, did you see what she just wrote? Yeah, I love the size. It looks loose and comfy. I want the blue fade. If I miss it, will you be live for the fade kits tomorrow? Yeah, we usually do an unboxing. We usually do an unboxing, but they're not set up as kits. We're going to have right, to make them. Right, we're going to have to put them together we're have to according put them to together your size. For which your is size. actually good because right. maybe you don't need all that mm -hmm. yarn. Oh, yeah, Karen, you're working with me tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Karen and I, we can play. But look at these colors, how vibrant they are anyway. Which one right? do you guys like? Aren't they gorgeous? You know, I'm surprisingly feeling this one. I love cashmere. And it has, look at the color in it. What's yeah, it called? Yeah, vintage modern. But it has speckles in it. It's got a little bit of... Yes, it does. Look at her. I love Uncommon Thread. She's got such beautiful stuff. She's in the UK. I'm like, what? Can I come? Wait. I came in a little late. Embers? Me? No, I think it's Alana's Ember sweater. I don't have an Ember sweater. I have an Ember sweater, but I, I only did a little bit of it. That one and the down. gold one. Together? Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody And said. I would put this one with Look it, too. That. Fade. Isn't that great? Oh, you could do like a color love shawl or. What about Sosu shawl? To totally, yeah. Look, you could, you do, could do U York is the York. shawl. Look. E W E. Here. That, look. Oh, look. That's perfect. Oh my goodness. Look, that's why I said Alana. Look. Or actually, that would be a little look. bit closer. Look, you want to do the U York shawl in this? Three skeins? Yeah. That's all it takes. With cashmere? Oh, the my cashmere. God. It'd be gorgeous. <laughs> With Sosu's yeah. uh, pattern. Yeah, so it's 10% cashmere, mm -hmm. but it really adds a You know what I want to make? I want to make her gridline sweater. Yeah. you could she was Is it wearing. fingering? Fingering. So you could use this. You could use, like, just two of those. Oh. Is it really just two? Yeah, she used two and a half. She used La Bien Aimee Twist Sock or something. This one so. for the grid lines. That's mm -hmm. what I would do. Yeah. And you then these do. two are gorgeous also. That's pretty, too, right? For the grid lines. I like Wilted rose. Mm -hmm. Colors are gorgeous. This one's called undergrowth. Mm -hmm. We have that in DK. But we did have 200 skeins um, early October. Yeah. And we flew out. I think we have like 10 skeins left and not all sweater quantity. And that's why we placed another order with her. Yeah. And wait, what's going to be our newest stockist? 
Hudson Wool. Hudson and West Company. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hudson and West Company shipped. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be their New Jersey stockist. Yes. So, yes. so are we getting the worsted and the fingering weight? Both. In, in Every all different color. colors? Every color. What a great basic. And I think the worsted is like 275 yards or 260 something. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a very big yardage. And it's squishy. It's squishy so squishy. and soft. It's not scratchy. Greetings from Maryland. Eris Nitz says hello. Hi, hey. she's coming on the trip to Ireland with me. Tie dye diva and Eris Nitz. Hi, Hi, girls. Hi, girls. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> Watching us? Are you podcasting too? Because they podcast. Oh, I gotta mm -hmm. watch that. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, they podcast. Eris Nitz is coming to Ireland on the trip. That's awesome. You guys are gonna have such a good such time. Such a fun time. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, so my we're counting goodness. the days on that. And um. No, I was going to say something. See, so something. Hudson and West, so there's yeah. a sweater coming out that has like this. A new like, collection. Did you see it has like a very bold color work yes. pattern? They I want to make like, that. It's almost like chocolate brown. It looks all black or something. We're going to have to right? make a really good sample for the store. I guess you might have to knit it. I guess I might have to. <laughs> I guess so. But I'm going to have to knit it in March. Is that okay? Because yeah. I'm, I'm test knitting They have a month. new, like all this new collection, new patterns are coming out. So I don't know how we get the pattern. I don't I thought she was going to include the pattern. I don't know. We'll figure that out. It'll I think be fun. you buy them on Ravelry. Yeah, I like, you know what? I, you know, with this pattern or any of our kits, they don't come with, our kits do not come with patterns. Mostly anybody that does kits, they don't put the patterns in. And a lot of the designers don't do hard copies of their patterns anymore. Yeah. Um, I know Deep South Fibers carry some. And that's how you get them wholesale, you know, some stores. But not every designer puts them there. And they prefer to keep the money for themselves, which is okay. And I find it easier being in the store that we don't have a lot of paper patterns here at all. We don't have any. Or we just have the book. You know, whether it's a Stephen West book or a line of, you know, we had the line of magazine. And we are getting the sock, 52 weeks of sock. We cannot order till February 7th or February 8th, but I will be getting like a dozen of them. Are you doing pre-orders? No, I don't right? do a pre-order. I know one or two people just asked, and I said, I'll put your name in the book. Really, really good customers. I'm going to put my name in right. the Right. We're going to do a list I'm later. a really, really good customer. I don't know how much the book is. <laughs> I think it's 39 euros, so we figured that it could be in the 40. I don't know. You know, I, I just don't have, we don't know the price yet of the book. But I think it's February 7th or February 8th we can put our pre-order in for Lina. Cool. I'm I can't wait to see that so, book. Maybe oh that'll make God. me make a pair of socks. I love making made. socks, and I haven't made them in a while, and I need to. I never made a pair. Danny still wears all the socks I knit for him. Mm -hmm. He was wearing a pair last night. He's knit worthy. He's knit worthy, He's kind knit -worthy. of. He's He's kind he loses of. his hats, but you can't. He doesn't lose, lose his socks. You can't, well, you lose, can't socks. lose socks. Well, how could well, you lose socks? Well, in the wash. Socks? Yeah, they don't. No, because right. I'm very gentle with them. She's good. She's good. <laughs> Am I good? I don't know. Oh, no. She's good. She's <laughs> oh so the, what I was going to say about the Hudson and yeah. West is that, so I bought a skein from them when they first made it available, but what I also bought from them, they sell was already they knit back? hats. They were. Oh. They sell already knit hats, these beautiful ribbed hats, and they're made out of their wool, wool, but they had them created. So they're like, I bought a hat for Danny since he loses all the ones I make for him, mm -hmm. so I bought one for him. He hasn't lost it. He hasn't lost it, and it looks so good, and the yarn wears like iron. Like, it's the best yarn. Soft. So I touched I'm excited to knit with it. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I guess I could start a little sample out of the one that I yeah, you that bring I in this hat in. and then I'll lose it. Bring it here. Yeah. Don't tell them that well, we but have the a hat, hat the hat's machine knit, so it's on a very oh. tight gauge. Mm -hmm. So you can't really use that as the sample because it's not going to be like that. I think right. if you hand knit it. But were they at Rhinebeck? They were. They were in a booth. Um, and so they were, Did like, in someone else's it? booth. No, yeah. they were in Bat and Kill Fibers. And so what happened was they said they were going to be there at 2, I think. And then I got there, like, a little bit before 2, and they were mobbed. And then I was like, all right, I can't do this right now. I'm mm. going to come back later. And then by the time I was able to get back, that was over. So they just had, like, a little pop-up at the back of Bat and Kill Fibers. Oh, okay. Um, We have a trunk show Saturday. Yeah, we do. Pancake and Lulu. From she's Woo. from Princeton, cool. And we carried her yarn a few years back, and she wasn't trunk showing then. She was just starting out, but she was at Indie Untangled. Oh. She's coming at nine o'clock to set up. She'll be here till like three thirty. She lives in Princeton, not too far. That's great. Um, three thirty four, and she's got beautiful color. She had an advent out for the holidays. Oh really? So look at Pancake and Lulu on Instagram. She's got all the slubs, all the gorgeous colors, bright like bright pinks, and my favorite colors. 
um, all those bright colors, like Sweet Nestings, all those gorgeous, fun colors. And you know who else is coming? Who? Oh. It's the end of February. Oysters and Pearls. Oh, I love her. She's new. <laughs> yeah. She's new. She's coming, I think it's the end of February. So nice. I just have to like look at the date on her 22nd, the 24th. She's local too. She lives in the city or Queens? She lives in Queens. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. And then somebody else emailed me yesterday. I got to go through that. And um, so we're picking up some trunk shows. That's great. It is cool. I love trunk shows. And then shows. we can tell you about the yarn crawl is April 2nd through the 5th. We're going to have Creo. She was at Vogue Knitting Live. With the She's, bouquet sweater. With the she bouquet sweater. She had the kits up. Did you see yesterday? You can I buy hope the she kit. brings some to the yarn Yeah, crawl. and her yarn. Because I went into the booth to look at her yarns. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They're so shiny. Her DKs. I don't know what bases they are, but... They're shiny. She has nice yarn. She's got beautiful yarn. So she's going to be here for the wool walk. Um, Woodsy and Wild bags Show from New bag. Hampshire. Oh, this is one of the bags. That's right. Look at that. I think, Karen, you got one. There goes my yarn uh -oh. on the floor. <laughs> Hope my stitches didn't fall off. I don't know. There's a few needles hanging They're so in well made. So. They have zippers in all the mm -hmm. right places. Right. I can fold it down just to show you. Yes. But and then there's like a little snap compartment in there. So that right? your yarn Look. doesn't get caught in the zipper. Right. It's magnetic, magnetic snap. Mm -hmm. So I have that. No so wonder I keep saying, I'm not snapping it. It's magnetic. It's just automatically doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. <laughs> um, and Yasmin, designs by Yasmin, her earrings. She's going to be here on Saturday the 4th, April 4th, for her trunk show. Season said, what model bag is that? This is her newest, the biggest newest bag. one. I can't remember the name of it, but it's, she did it's an update. very new. And it's we are getting her bags one. for the store. So I don't know where that order is. I got a message. That's it's coming, I it's think, coming. right? It's coming before the trunk show. So we're going to have a good week. Season, are you coming down with the sisters and staying in the hotel? With, are you coming down for the four days? Yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah. Four days, season. Four days, season of us. Season, you could stay with me, too, uh, if you don't mind getting woken up at 5.30 a.m. by five-year-olds. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have like, a lot being of woken stuff up going kids. on here. She said, yes. She said, yes. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. And um, I don't know. What else is going on? I'm here? up at that time every You're day. You're going. Great. Wait, is anybody here going to Vogue Seattle? Alana is. I'm going to be March. there. Yeah. Come say hi to me in She's Seattle. She's traveling with all her friends. It's my West Coast trip. Yeah. I've never been to Seattle. I've Have never you? been. Fred keeps asking me to go because he's friends with... Um, Starbucks? Howard Schultz, yeah. Starbucks, and I never go. I would have went this time with you. Like, I would have went, but it's yeah. Elle's birthday party. Yeah. Elle's going to be, too. Bad timing. I can't miss. No way, of course not. So Elle's birthday is Saturday, March 14th, and I can't miss her party. Yeah. She's going to be two on the 20th, and the party's what then. What a big girl. My big baby. Did you see her dancing? <laughs> yes. Oh, she's so cute. She's anyway, so cute. Mimi and Pop Pop, that's all she does is call my name. Mimi! And I love the photos of her with Pop Pop. Wait, at Shabbat. So yes. Friday night, we went to um, Marissa's. Well, I was there earlier, but we went to Tat Shabbat because she goes to nursery school like her little nursery schools in, in the synagogue. And that was the first Tot Shabbat that yeah. she went to. All her little friends were there, and they were playing the guitar, and the rabbi gave out hala, and all of that. But when we first got there, I said, I have to go to the bathroom. Run to the bathroom. She's screaming in the hallway, me! Oh, she thought you were leaving. Mimi just ran into the potty. <laughs> and my husband said she was crying, Mimi, where's Mimi? So Mimi. cute. And my husband, yeah, pop, pop. And, he just um, melts, right? He melts. So she want, She didn't. She was sitting on my lap in the pictures, and then they had. You can go up to the bima and to the Torah, and they had little stuffed Torahs. Yeah, we have that. Right. Too. She had the little stuffed Torahs, and she wanted pop up to take her up there, and then so she sweet. sat on the, you know, on the pew with her little Torah. So um, it was fun. It was very nice. My husband loves all that. Yeah. You know, it's very warming and endearing for my husband. Um, my father-in-law was in a concentration camp, and um, we were brought up, my children were brought up conservative. Marissa belongs to a reform temple, but sometimes I've been to reform temples and I didn't prefer it. I just didn't like the vibe of it. And when we were there Friday night, I felt it was okay. It was yeah, perfect. Yeah, you like Isn't that? Isn't that funny? Like, mm -hmm. it was perfect. It was warm. It was endearing. And I felt like I belonged in there. That's and, the most important, not it what was, it is. No, and I've been to Reformed temples. We were members of other ones, and I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. It's yeah. just how you feel and whatever works. Yeah. You know, and a very, very sweet. She met a lot of nice young women and 
she's a different, you know, she goes to exercise with them. That's and great. she just, you know, and she made all new friends and it's wonderful. And it's, it makes my husband, it makes our heart melt, yeah. you know, that the baby's part of that. Um, cause that's how we brought the girls up. Right. Do and, the friends live in her town or in um, other towns? They live in Livingston. They live in Short Hills because the synagogue is in Short Hills. Oh, okay. And it's like five minutes from the house. So it was just wonderful. It was That's just so nice, nice to meet some of her girlfriends. Yeah. It was oh, nice. Right. You got to meet everybody. Some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just very nice. And uh, and some of them have older. Um, and their little one is Elle's age. Oh. So, you know, yeah. but she made, That's different. made all different nice friends. And, you know, it's very, very, it's very warm. And that's important. You know, to find your niche, Absolutely. like you, right, with the kids when yeah, you were home we with the kids. Yeah, we have that at the at the synagogue too. You made different Such sets nice of friends, community. right? Yes. Different yep. sets of friends. So now right. we have the nursery school friends. We have the uh, Hebrew grade school, school friends. friends. The Hebrew school friends. Right. Yeah, it's like you get your. Crew. I was carpooling My neighbors. all over the world. Me too. Right. I'm like, it's a very complex. Three carpool. different car. I was in two different carpools. Between I have nursery a lot school, of Hebrew school, Sunday school. I'm always picking up extra kids. <laughs> <laughs> on Tuesday is my crazy day. I pick up two kids, I bring them there, pick up another two kids, bring them here. And then it was like ballet <laughs> or any of that other stuff, gymnastics and all that stuff. So um, it was good. We had a nice weekend. It was really good on my day off. But, awesome. Um, anyway, I don't know. I think that's it. I don't that's know if it. anybody else wants a kit or let us know. If yeah. you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer. But um, I'm not going to... Vogue Seattle, wish I was, but and it's I okay. I'll be there. She'll be there. She'll tell us what's Spriggs going on. Spriggs and Stones will be there. I'm going to get to meet her. Before. Oh, and then Spriggs and Stones. Here's another thing that I'm going to put out there. In um, May 15th and May 16th, Nick Graffiti is going to be here for the weekend. Teaching? Teaching. What is she teaching? Do you know? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to put that out there soon. And Spriggs and Stone is flying in from Seattle. Oh. And she's trunk showing the whole That's weekend. Cool. So you can still, if you don't sign up for a class, you know, whatever. We'll have all that information out there in another month. I think we start to, you know, plan all that. And um, we have to update some of the stuff on our Ravelry group with the trunk shows coming oh, up. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Carolyn's Carolyn. in charge But of she's in Ravelry Disney. Group. We'll just let her be on vacation with her little Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> We hope she's having a good time. She's with her oldest daughter. So Who's coming daughter. again this weekend? Pancake and Lulu. Pancake and Lulu. She's if local. If you live in New Jersey, and look her up on Instagram. Season Pan said it. Season. Pancake and Lulu. She shops from afar. She's got awesome <laughs> stuff. Drive down. Come on down. She's got awesome yarns. And she was at India Untangled. So if you got to India Untangled, she was there. Yeah, I didn't. I must have missed her. And she wasn't. I hadn't heard of her. But now that you were posting, mm -hmm. I followed her. Yeah. So I'm excited so, to see her. So. Anyway. Is that she said, I'm again? thinking about it. Yeah, Drive get down, down here, season. Come on, season. Make a you pit can do stop it. at my house. I'm on the way. She can go. Go <laughs> stay. Stay with Alana. Go pick me up. <laughs> pick her up. Save me. <laughs> pick her up. Save her from the children. Wait, is Danny home this weekend? I the kids so. are you running with them? Yeah, there's always. Anyway. Now, the way the sports are, um, oh, you, got you the need both of us. So two because, different times on Saturday. Yeah, so or? basketball and jujitsu are at the same time. Oh. So we uh, we have to split up on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have a day where right. I could just like zone out. Uh -huh. You know, zone out. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. We hope you guys we form. We'll be up like a half hour. Half hour. Half We're hour. doing great. Yeah, we just like to you know we pop on for this half hour. Other people are on for an hour and a half, two hours. Really? What do you even talk about that long? I don't, know. I don't watch knitting podcasts anymore. I used to watch this one, and now I'm on it. I can't watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's like okay, we can just like we'll just <laughs> I'll watch it later when I get home and pop it up on my. TV and then send like, me oh. if you have a if you're watching this and you have a knitting podcast can you send it to me on Instagram <laughs> so that I could watch your podcast because mm -hmm. I we'll want to watch, watch some podcast. new ones yeah yeah we like podcasts yeah, we could talk I, about it yeah yes yeah, maybe we should do that that would be fun we could have mm -hmm. like a podcast of the week and support other podcasts yeah tell us tag us yeah we'll we'll put you up there yeah anyway thank you for watching and Thank you, Carolyn, for my new sweater. Yeah. <laughs> Carolyn's not yeah. watching, so we could steal all her stuff. Watch. We'll get Texas for her in a little while. Yeah. You she... know that. <laughs> the reason why is because we use my phone to do podcast, and I shut all my notifications off. Oh. But you saw something pop up before. I think that was, that was Realtor an email. Duck. Oh, okay. That email yeah. house from for my sale. husband. <laughs> house for sale. I'm buying a new house. I sold my home. So I went house shopping this morning. Like, you know, you just go to the store. <laughs> I was house shopping this morning and house shopping Monday and we have to just wait through this other stuff with my stuff goes through and I found my house. So exciting. So, so exciting. All good. Congratulations. So, thank you. So yeah. Thank you. And I can't wait. Diana. Yeah. And um, brought the husband to see this one this morning. And you know what the craziest thing? He couldn't find anything wrong. 
That's my, something. My husband can find something wrong with everything. Everything. And he goes, Kat, I don't find anything wrong. And I'm like, who is this man after 40 years? Oh. Except the front door. Mm. He said they could have put a better grade front door in this home. Mm. Okay. Not that anybody's knocking it down. Yeah. But um, as long as we're good with the kitchen and they can redo the kitchen the way I want it. Yeah. It's a new home. Um, yeah. And the kitchen's not in yet anyway. Oh, that's so great. So they give you the appliances. I don't want their appliances. Mm -hmm. I want certain dimensions changed in my cooktop. And so that's a go. Cool. And um, I have that's to get so out exciting. of attorney review. Downsizing? And... No. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Did that? That didn't work. <laughs> See, there's an email. What is that? It's, uh, it's my husband. There's emails coming through with my husband. Never. No. <laughs> season goes, or just moving for fun. Dear God. <laughs> okay, I'll send you a picture. Well, look, the family's growing. The family's so growing. We downsized eight years ago. Yeah. I hate downsizing. <laughs> I have no room for my babies. Meaning, babies are 36. <laughs> 32. 38. 38. And, oh, she's the oldest. I'm the oldest. 38 and 2. Okay. Those are my and babies. And how old is Ruby? And Ruby, 13. So she's about 90. Her birthday was Sunday. So she's 90. I don't have bedrooms. Oh, and Season says a room for me. Right. So this house has six bedrooms, six bathrooms. That's so. better. What else? Is there a Texas coming through? Yeah, getting photos. Photos from. I thought I shut those notifications off. I don't know. I forgot. I don't know. Anyway, guys, so yes, we're I'm upsizing. Did the downsizing, <laughs> and I'm in an over 55, and it's just not for me. Are you going to have like a, like a yarn room, like a knitting well, room? Well, there's an extra room for an office. Right. Oh, so the office is like your knitting? I don't, yeah, like I think. She shed? Fred said he'll share the office with me, but... No! Uh-uh, no, no, no. It's beautiful. <laughs> season, I'll send you the link and tell me if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's season. my thing was, I'm in this over 55. I'm probably the youngest person living there, except maybe the person buying my house now. And um, I don't like it. I don't like to be told what to do. Just being really honest, if you live in a community like that, people are nosy. And there's also rules and regulations. Right. I follow the rules and regulations, but some other people don't. But because they're friends with somebody on the committee, they get to they get their rules and regulations pushed under the rug. I don't think so. Not for $500 a month um, mm -mm. in community charges. So there's a lot of nepotism going on in there and I don't play that game. If it's good for one, it's good for everybody. So sorry, I'm out of here. <laughs> You're doing it's the right thing. Yeah, it's fine, but I can't live like that. I just, I don't, I don't like to be told what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a free course. spirit. It's like, <laughs> You know, you're an artist. I'm an artist, and anyway, this new home is right next to a reserve and a park. Oh, uh, like hiking? Like no, but a beautiful park, nice. and like, and Miss Ruby can be part oh, of the park. Ruby. It's gorgeous. It's yeah. Renee said she has a she shed, and she loves it. Maybe What's a she shed. <laughs> You know, it's we saw the commercial about Cheryl's she shed. No, what is that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah, so there's cave? like a man cave and then there's, there's a, a she shed. shed. Yeah, and you like decorate it nice. Okay. Well, my like office here. now, if you saw pictures, because I did post when we were doing something, what was that? The knit yarnuary? What oh, is yeah. And I where and I posted my spot, and that's what my office looks like now. So if you go back, the feed lower, I think, to the beginning of January. Um, I posted on that posting every day, that, and I stopped doing it. And I posted my office now. Yeah. But um. Sorry, I'm out of there. You need a spin cycle closet. That's for sure. <laughs> Two spin cycle closets. Oh. And now. Yeah, upsizing the spin cycle closet. I'm just gonna say, here's what I'm gonna tell you about this. <laughs> on the second level. There's this huge pot, and it's probably over the garage. Is what I'm telling you. It is. It's walkable storage, the whole three-car garage. Oh. So then my husband goes, wow. And I look at him and I went, oh. I mean, we could finish that space too. You know, maybe finish that and make that his office mm -hmm. or something. But um, it's just the two of us. And Renee said her she shed has two stories with a kitchen and a bathroom. That's like a That's whole like a house. house. <laughs> 
No, I'm just good of having my own space. That'd be like if I bought the house next door and called it the she shed. Okay. Some days I'm going to do that. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my God. It's so funny. But anyway, guys, yeah, hopefully this all works out and I'm out of the old age home. <laughs> the old age home. Gail said you should have a hedgehog closet too. Yeah, I have one of those in the. Well, I don't really have a hedgehog. I have been. So yes. here's my thing. I'm going to have to have you come over before I move. And we're going to have to do a giant D stash. Really? I'll help you out. Oh, we'll do Take something. Take pictures and put it up, you mean? Put it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a moving sale. I'm having a moving sale. Okay. What do you think? I think we should do that. Think so, of the sleepovers, anyway. Dolores said. All right, All right. we're going to go. Go. Bye, Bye. guys.